Hi everyone, it's Carl's here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing a few goodies in here from Juvia's Place. So if you wanna know exactly what I got in here, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so without further ado, let's just get this box open because I am really excited to see exactly if, if what is in here is going to work out well for me. Why am I saying it like this? I don't know. Anyways, you guys, so not too long ago, Julius Place actually had a sale going on on their website where it was like 30% off, I believe, everything on their website. And it, actually, that was including bundles that they had. And I came across, I hear positive things. Why am I like this? I hear positive things about their foundation. And I'm like, okay, let me see if I can get a foundation, um, liquid foundation, right? But then they had uh, like a bundle of foundation sticks in terms of shade levels i'm like i should really get that because i believe if i remember correctly let me show you it was in here oh my god <laughs> oh i believe if i can if i remember correctly maybe it's on the invoice um let me see if any personal information is on here uh no okay so there's a few things in here okay so it looks like the bundle initially it retails for 62 dollars. so i it does it does say on here exactly what the overall cost may not pick up because of the lighting anyways you guys so it does look like it retails for 62 dollars, but i was able to get it on sale so it came down to like like $37 i believe in some change and then i also end up buying like um a, I don't know, like a, a glow bundle kit. I'm not sure how to explain it. Overall, my total in terms of shipping as well and the cost was like $53. Now, the reason why I got the foundation sticks because for me, I don't know if it's just you or maybe it's just me, but I think in general, right now, especially with COVID, it's so hard to find your foundation color to find an exact match or a close enough match. The reason for that is because I'm over talking, I got this stuff in here. The reason for that is because A, it's really hard to really look at a monitor on a computer to determine what your shade color is going to be. And the reason for that, because there's different, you know, there's different colors that are coming out of the actual monitor. Does that make sense? Because you can look at me via from what you're viewing it and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, you're too C C B B B U E. Do you know what I mean? Like coming up with some random shades like, no, that's not my shade. Because again, it's going to be completely different until you can go into the store and actually swatch the product on your face and say, yes, this is the right shade. But again, because of COVID, it's very challenging. So you know what? I figured this is the best way to try a bunch of shades and see which one works best for me. Again, I ended up picking, I think um, I picked out the light kingdom bundle foundation sticks so basically i got all of these ranges of foundation sticks that they have in the shade of light so there's a total of five of them right here and again the reason why i did that is because for the amount of what it was going to cost while it was on sale for the 37 dollars again originally 62 that isn't a bad deal because mac foundations are not um, the stick foundations are normally like 40 bucks. Don't quote me. I'm going off of memory. So I'm like, I'm getting five of them. That's not bad at all. Because if I can get two of these suckers that match, perfect. The other shades, either I can figure out a way how to use it. Maybe it's a contour stick, something in that nature. Anyway, so this, you can't go wrong. So it looks like I got, I got, I got, I got. <laughs> not sure where I was going with this. So let me go ahead and see exactly we got... We got Tokyo here. Okay, it's not picking up. Okay, Tokyo, you go it. All right, we got Amps, Amberdin, 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 Amberdin. Why am I saying this all crazy? All right, let's go ahead and just take these out of the box because I'm really curious. Instead of just sh saying the shade names, I really just want to see because <sighs> I hear positive things about their foundation. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. You know what I mean? Like people tell me all the time. 
Julia's Place, I've never had them until I won it in a giveaway and I really like their formula in terms of their palettes and again I just hear positive things about their foundation so that's the reason why you know what I mean it's, it's like a win-win situation wow this is actually really cute it's huge this is actually really nice and big all right oh this is very light very very light I know this is not gonna like work for me but this I'm happy this came in my um, collection because I hope this isn't the light. The, 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 I hope this isn't the darkest because if it is, I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, this would be good for like highlighting areas. So actually, that's not bad. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you. Let me just show you real quick how light it is. It's light. All right. That's okay though, because again, like I said, there's gonna be shades that I'm gonna get. They're gonna be either too dark or too light, but I can still work it in the um, in my makeup. This great highlighting areas, not a problem. I can definitely use this. This shade right here was the shade Tokyo. So let me go ahead and put this to the side because clearly this is not my shade. No, but it's still doable. I can work with it, all right? So the next shade I have here is the one I couldn't say. All right, so let's take a look. Same canister. Okay, I'm. These are all too light. All right, <laughs> all right, but it's not as light as the last one. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. Yeah, okay, it's not bad though. I'm not mad at it. These are fine because I can still use them. Again, no issues whatsoever. I'm not being like, oh man, I picked the wrong ones. You know, and again. This is where I was saying, like, sometimes it's very difficult to color match your skin because what you're seeing on the computer monitors or even on your phone, even when you do, like, I think Ulta provides, like, that, like, match my skin tone. You have, like, a, your camera, you use the lighting, but even that doesn't work because Mac has it in store where the color match you. I did that, bought three different shades, and neither of them really worked for my skin tone. So again, it's just trial and error, especially right now with COVID. It's just, it sucks, but that's just the reality of it. And if someone tells you, no, I can find the most perfect match, they're lying. Unless that's just their holy grail of foundations and they always use it. You know what? Because they got it before COVID hit and they already know what their shade number is. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you guys. So, oh, okay. This might work. Why does it look so white and residue-ish? Okay, so... Okay, so we're getting somewhere, right? We're getting somewhere. I have hopes. I'm optimistic. Those two light shades, eh, but I can still work with them. All right, so oh, let's go to the side. Okay, you see? Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, that's not, that's actually not a bad shade. If it's a little bit darker, because this is more peach tone. This is in the shade, sorry, I should have told you, Luxor, Luxor, Luxor. Okay, this can actually work. I do like that one actually. All right, so let me put that to the side because the other ones are more highlighter sticks. I'm going to say Lima is the next shade. All right, so let's take a look. We're getting somewhere, we're getting better. All right, all right. All right, so this one is another another lighter tan. All right, let me try this other side right here. I'm about to lose out on space. All right, this one's more Hmm. Okay, lighter, but this one has more peach or peachy undertones. Still good. And this is where I may have to mix some of these up together. I'm not mad so far. This is actually pretty good. I, I I'm not upset because again, for the amount of all of these is the amount of one Mac foundation stick. All right. So let's go into the sucker right here, and. We have another light shade. So let me take a look. All right, so this one might be a little bit too, I don't know, let's let's try it. Huh. All right, let's see. This two, what shade is this one? Okay, so this one shade is, I can't say the word, I give up. I'm not gonna say that one. I think this first, no, this shade actually may work. Let me, I need something to buff this out. Give me a minute. All right, you guys, so since I don't have, <laughs> I have a beauty sponge, but it's not wet. So I'm just going to use my setting spray, just a regular setting spray, as you can see, just wet it down a little bit. Okay, so why, 
I'll tell you. All right, so I'm just going to put this here. Again, this is in a shade that I cannot pronounce. Um, let me show you the name of it, just in case you want to know. Like, all right. So let's go with the other shade, the one that I had that more of a peachy undertone, because I think this is a really nice shade. Why well, I always want to keep going over there? Mix these together, right? Okay. Again, this is where it's like you kind of have to MacGyver it. If you don't know what I'm referring to, then clearly I just dated myself. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and buff this out because I think those two shades actually do work together. Let's see. Now, I'm hoping that the wetting of this doesn't mess up the tone of these foundation sticks because you know sometimes some setting sprays can actually work against you with the um, foundation sticks and I'm hmm I'm thinking it's doing that right now but other than that it's actually working quite well you know what I'm going to do on this side I'm going to wipe this away and then I'm going to try it again and just going to apply it with my hands so the warmth of my hands can actually absorb into my skin rather than using a wet beauty brush. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Wipe this off and then we'll try this again. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and wiped that particular side off. So let me just go ahead and reapply that here. Again, this is in the shade Luxar. And then I'm going to go into the next shade that I cannot pronounce. Oh, I got some glitter over here. <laughs> anyway, so this one is a little bit lighter. So now I'm just going to use my fingers. My fingers are already clean, so don't come after me. I know some of y'all be like, ew, no, they're clean. And you know what? It's the best way to do it because you don't want to keep using beauty sponges because that carries bacteria. I don't need to tell you all that. It just does. Anyway, so let me go ahead and smear this around. All right, there is payoff right away because if you notice, this is the side where I use the beauty sponge that was wet. And it looks like the wet beauty sponge took away the product versus over here. You see what I mean? Like, mm -mm. and I can see this is almost like full. I think these are full coverage over here. The product got wiped away, but I can definitely see that this is a nice full coverage. I'm not going to be using a beauty sponge that's wet because this is what happens. It disappears and over here. It's still there. Hmm. All right, you guys. What do you guys think? I think, yes, it's still light. I'm not going to say that it's not. I think if I had one more shade that was a just, just two more shades or one more shade a little bit darker, it would be a really good match to my skin. Again, this is trial and error. This is what happens, especially during COVID. You don't know what's going to work because, again, like I said earlier, you're not always going to find the most perfect match unless you're physically in the store and trying out the product, but we can't right now. It is what it is. So I may look like Casper right now, but you can always work it out. All right, you guys. So right when I was about to show you the other products that I have, I didn't realize I had another foundation stick in the box. Like what? Oh my god, I'm so special. I literally, I was going to show you the other products and when I looked down, I'm like, wait a second, did I accidentally throw it in there and not pay attention? And then I look over here, like, no, there's five over there. And I could have sworn I was supposed to get six, but I'm like, okay, there's clearly just only, f maybe there was five and I just milk, mi milk, <laughs> miscounted. Okay, you guys, so here's the next shade right here. Let's just see and see if this is, what if this works? What? Okay, let's just see, let's just see. All right, so, hmm. All right, so this side over here is where I did apply it with my fingers, remember? So let's just wipe it down and see if what this other shape is going to be like. Again, I'm not mad at the formula. The formula is actually really, really good because it does feel like full coverage for a foundation stick. Creamy and blendable. All right. <laughs> I can't. I'm still shocked that I had one stick in there and I had no clue that it was in there. Mm -mm. All right. So here we go. Let's just see. All right. So still a little bright, but it's not as bright as the other ones. All right. Hmm. I don't know why I keep doing this. Hmm. All right. So let's go ahead with my finger again 
and just, you know, apply it. Let's see. Let's see where we go with this. Huh. It is a little bit more darker than the other two other shades that I did use. I do like the consistency and their formula. Like, this for a foundation stick, really good payoff in terms of pigmentation and the full coverage. Okay. I mean, again, this is what happens when you buy online. You don't know if you're going to get an exact match for your skin tone because on the computer screen, they look a little bit darker than here. Like it says light, but the light did look darker. <sighs> Again, I'm not mad. I'm actually still content because I still got an overall good deal. And I do like the formula. I do like that I got full coverage because if you look at both sides, even though Again, I know the shade is off for me, but even though you look at my skin tone, this side, you see, it's still nice. And then this side, full coverage, like to the nines, like, wow. So I think once they do another sale, I'll definitely buy the shades up in terms of the bundle and we'll go with that. And hopefully my perfect shade would be in there because I actually do like this. I'm really getting good full coverage, not bad. All right, you guys, so finally, let me show you the other two products that I picked up. This actually came in a bundle. This is the Heroin Glow um, 1 and 2. So let me show you. The packaging is so slick, like seriously. I got these because they were on sale for $16. I didn't think that was bad. Why well, I got fuzzy on my lip? Anyways, you guys, so, and then I also got the 30% off of that too. So I'm like, yeah, you can't go wrong. All right, so let me go ahead and take this out. Oh, this is super cute. So it's like a cardboard box, you know, container. So let me show you the front. So slick. I mean, all right, all right, let's take this sucker off. Oh, wow. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that nice? Do you see that? Huh. Okay, I love the packaging. I love the gemstone shape that's in here. So again, if you're not familiar with what this is, this is a baked highlighter. So that's really cool. Let me see. Okay, creamy. Really creamy, actually. I don't feel... <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Okay, I have to. I have to. Like that... What the heck? All right. Do you, all I did was one swipe, look. Do you see this? I don't know if you're seeing that, but look, that's just one swipe. <gasps> Whoa. All right, you guys, so let's go right into the next one that we have here. Open this sucker up. I'm expecting the same format in terms of packaging. So yeah, oh, this is, this is slick. I, I, it's really, really slick. All right, oh my God, you guys, look at the inside. Has that marble look to that gemstone shape. Wow, that is really slick. All right, let me go ahead. Mm, a little gritty, but nothing too bad. So let me show you. Oh, that's beautiful. Do you see this? All right, let me try to figure out a way that you're able to see this head on. Let me see. Whoa, okay, you cannot see it because the lighting. This is a, like a nice rose gold color. Let me get a little bit more. Where can I apply this so you guys can see? Oh, I already go, I already have some there, Carlos. Whoa, hmm. I don't know, like, I, you guys, you have to see this in person. I am like really shocked and surprised with these highlighters. They, I am actually content with this whole shipment that I received from Juvia's Place. Um, yes, granted, I didn't find the perfect match of my foundation color, but that is okay because I can still use those. No issues whatsoever. I am glad that I got to try it because I got to see what the consistency is, how the formula applies, and there's good payoff in terms of full coverage. So that's a really good thing.
All right, you guys, so that concludes my overall video using the products that I just received in my Juvia's place. Um, again, I'm content, no, no issues whatsoever. However, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any of these particular products. And if so, what are your guys' thoughts and opinions about these particular products? Do you have the foundation sticks? Would you use the foundation sticks versus the actual liquid foundation that they have online too? Problem with that, they don't offer those in bundles. So I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that yet and take that gamble on purchasing a shade that may not work for me. Anyways, you guys, definitely leave a comment below as well. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about the try-on. Yeah, we know it didn't work out, but it's okay. But until then, you guys, make sure you all brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye now.